good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your subscriptions. Thank you for your shares of my videos, and thank you for liking. Continue to do so. Continue, continue, continue to do so, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Let's blow up together, okay? But let's get on into this story that reality T done broke out. It's been out there. Everybody been talking about it. Been talking about it for about a month now, ever since Cynthia calls herself getting engaged to Mike Hill, which I already feel is a manufactured type of um, marriage or engagement. I, I don't know why Cynthia, with all her wisdom, would go to Steve Harvey, one who has been married three separate times, okay? And definitely been giving Mary Levon Harvey a very hard time trying to make her, you know, feel like she done lost her mind, trying to drive her crazy and all this thing. Check it out. Look up activists, Elsie or Essie Berry. Remember rerun from um, What's Happening show? That's his ex-wife. Or not, his, that's his wife because rerun is dead. So that's his widow. Rerun's widow. Y'all think they got it right. Elsie Berry. She was a um, civil rights activist that actually filed a petition for Mary Lee Harvey Vaughn or however she want to put her name because she's so many names. But we can just put it as uh, Mary Lee Vaughn right now because I don't think she want to be associated with Steve Harvey because of all his misguided information, how he treated her. Just a whole, it's just another whole video that I really don't want to get into. But if you really want to know how Steve Harvey really gets down, check it out. Civil rights, civil rights activist Essie Berry. Uh, on regards to Mary Lee Von Harvey and lawsuit or something like that. Check all that out. Then you'll come up with a very fascinating story on how Steve Harvey gets down on the dark side. Okay? And one thing that's really interesting, he got married three times and he married ladies with their first name beginning with A.M. How dynamic, I would say. How Crazy is that? I mean, every woman out there that you met and called yourself want to settle down with begins with the M. His first wife was Marcia or Marsha uh, Harvey. His second wife was Mary Levon before she became a Harvey. And then he has Marjorie Elaine Harvey. What's with him with all them M's? You know what I'm saying? I really don't understand what's he was getting down. He done wrote books talking about relationships and everybody up there just asking him willy-nilly about advice on who they should look for, what they should look for, and how they should get a man. I'm like, are you serious? Why would you go to a man that has been married three times and his last marriage looked like it's on shaky ground as well? Cynthia, have you lost your mind? Okay? And every day you ain't fooling nobody out on these streets. I mean, Nene already done told us from Jump Street once it was announced that you were getting married. Well, now I take it back. Let's go all the way back. Let's go to Candy Burris trying to get you straight. Trying to tell you in the nicest way she possibly can. Good. And I don't know why she broke it out on social media, but I guess she saw you posting on social media and losing your mind about being married to Mr. Mike Hill and all of this, I guess she, maybe you weren't returning her phone calls when she was trying to do it on a download, you know, off screen, off camera, off social media, but you didn't answer her calls or anything. So the best way she could hit you, I guess, was on the net. Okay. On the computer, social media for everybody to see. Okay. But she warned you. She told you. Fall back. If a man going to marry you, they going to marry you. They don't need no urging. They don't need no pushing. They don't need, I mean, Steve even talked about on his show about women kind of cradling, kind of uh, being antsy about getting married and, and bringing the conversation up several, several times. And, he, and, you know, Steve had taught him, which was a true thing, but it's true in essence. If somebody want to marry you, believe it. They're going to come out and tell you. They ready for a relationship. They want to be monogamous. They can't see nobody in their life but you. Yes, they would do it when they read it. And 
Like I said, God is, I don't believe God sent you that man, honey. You got that man. You saw that man. You wanted that man. And you used Steve, <laughs> I guess. You went on one of his dating shows. And he put y'all together. But then the streets are saying, you said you haven't even met Mike Hill until that meeting on Steve Harvey's show where he was trying to set you up with a person. You know, there's several el eligible bachelors on this show at this particular time. I didn't see it. I ain't catch it because I don't get down with Steve like that. Not after I heard what he was doing to his second wife. Bless her heart. Taking her son away from her, trying to make her seem or make her deemed incompetent. And, you know, just messing with all her mentality. Okay? I don't like men like that. My Lord, if you do, you do. But don't be, you know, trying to be a home record when it comes to the kids. Trying to turn the kids um, away or against their mother. I mean, my Lord, she birthed them. She brought them in the world with the help of the Lord. Where were you? Okay? And if you were there, you didn't have to go through all that pain. Okay? You just planted the seed and watched it grow. But it was time to pop it out. Please, where was your holler? Where were you down there talking about push, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe? I think he was up there smoking a, uh, a cigar and drinking on Kanye. He said, all right, but she probably had a baby by now. Ooh, I don't hear no hollering, but maybe they'll call me. You probably sitting up there having a cocktail somewhere. So you, as y'all can tell, Steve Harvey is not on my radar. Don't too much care for him. I mean, my Lord, you've been married three times, and you're going to get set up on Steve Harvey's show? Really? And it sure got canceled as well, Okay. Don't know if they had anything to do with it. Probably not, but I thought I'd just throw that out there. You're going to take advice from a man that's been married three times. You're going to let a man set you up with a man that he probably know ain't worth a two cent. Okay? He just want publicity. He wants to enhance his platform by using yours. Because like I said, if you really didn't pay attention to sports at all or you want a real sports fanatic... You wouldn't even know who Mike Hill was. I had to Google the brother to see, was he legit? And he is legit. He's in the commentary world of sports. All right. He does everything sports related. So I'm like, Cynthia, uh, and then for you to even get with the sports scene, you two girl, I've never seen you wanted to do anything. You never showed it on Real Housewives of Atlanta about doing anything sports related. Okay. I, I'm just confused. I mean, you were in the arts. You were into plays. You were into all of this, especially when you was with Leon. Now you all up into sports. I, I, girl, I am with the people that are assuming that. For my conspiracy theories, people, okay? She's just going to got found herself in a clique, and she's going to have to do some small things for some change, okay? To get that fortune, you know, hyped up to start climbing them big old walls, Breaking down that little ceiling that's supposed to be so high you can't reach. She got to do some strange things. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm going to put out there. Those who hear me, hear me. Those who don't, okay, maybe you'll wake up sooner or later. But Steve Harvey ain't nothing but the devil, okay? And I can throw him along with Jay-Z and all the other sellouts. Not trying to do nothing for their own race. Just trying to clam, clam, clam. A crab in a bucket type of mentality. And I really do feel... <laughs> that she, <coughs> meaning Cynthia, is trying to be up there with the who's who, and she don't want to come down no time soon. So she needs to solidify herself, because God knows. We ain't going to bring God in. We don't bring God in. We're going to say, we know. Okay, the streets are talking. You need to stay on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, we know. Don't be scared of to say it. You wanted to get in drama. You've been there for a minute. Don't even really know why you're still there. Instead of them replacing Shamari. But then, okay, Shamari was deemed as a little drunk. Because Marlo kind of hyped that up as well as Candy. So, okay, we didn't want no mishaps with that. You know, liability suits and all this. Fooling around with uh, Shamari and her drinking habits. Okay? And not being able to hold her liquor. But you want to do in and everything to stay on the show. And it's, it, 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 it's definitely showing. It's definitely showing. I'm like, this whirlwind romance just happened too fast. I'm like, first you were with this brother. Then next season, you with this other brother. Then in another season, coming, you with somebody else. I'm like, where was the stability? The only stability that you really had was when you were with Peter. 
And that's a crying shame, okay? You don't see Peter trying to get out there and get married again. Lord knows he done been married a lot of times too. But Peter needs to just hang up his hat and be an eligible bachelor and just keep it that way. He don't need to take nobody else's money. He don't need to spend up with nobody else's time. He just need to work on himself. And with you getting married or wanting to get married again so soon, Seth, I'm like, what's the rush, okay? What is the rush, girl? And if you're going to get rushed um, by trying to be married again real soon, too quick, fast, and hurry, make sure you have a prenup. Because there ain't no sense of no way of having to have to share your wealth that you may leave her one day with Mike Hill. I just don't see it. Okay, because it's all in no way. Mike Hill got two kids. So that means you're going to split your fortune three ways. To some kids you don't really even know. To a man you don't even know. I'm so disappointed in Cynthia. I really am. But I don't see nothing but disaster. Okay? I really think it's a manufactured uh, proposal. And if it does get to a wedding, it's just going to be in name only. I don't think she's going to be happy. It's going to show. We all going to see it. And then she's going to be back at square one. I'm like... <sighs> Cynthia. The streets are talking, baby. The street. I need Candy to tell me the truth. Candy, Portia, Kenya. Well, you know what? She probably learned this mess from Kenya. Because Kenya would do everything and anything to stay on the show, too. Yes, she will. Hello, I know her and Fred, you know they've been clicking their heels trying to get back in the door. Bravo. Yes, because that was a steady chat. They didn't have to really work hard. All they had to do was pretty much beef with everybody. And the ratings was going to go through the roof because we're all going to pick our favorites. We're all going to talk about them. It's going to be chatter everywhere. And them numbers going to be either going through the roof or they're going to be at a stagnant type point. And then they have to rethink who they really need on this show. Okay, it's a bargaining tool. It's a bargaining tool. Either good press or bad press. Just as long as somebody out there talking about you. That's how Hollywood thinks. That's how the entertainment goes. Okay? A lie will become the truth if you tell it long enough. All right? And that's in real life. Bet your britches on that one. Okay? But I just don't know. I mean, the, the, can you give you some of her tricks and tools of how to stay on Real Housewives of Atlanta? Because she was doing well until she called herself, don't want to film. <laughs> Don't want to show certain parts of her life because she know it was scandalous. And I'm still waiting for that to come to fruition as well. Everything is done in the dark will come to the light. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It cannot stay hidden. All right. But the streets are talking. Just like I said, they ain't died down. I thought it would die down. That's why I didn't come to the rescue of putting my two cents in, even though I, I knew it was fraudulent. Fake and fraudulent. I was with Nene on that one because there's just no substance there. There was no time period or how long y'all had dated. Then you start coming back saying, well, you can have a person for three months and be ready to go to the altar. You can't really tell. That is so true. You can't. People can be married for 26, 40 years. Okay. And then they still want to end up getting divorced. All right. You've been married one time. I don't know how long it was to Peter, but we saw it all on camera, okay? And when he really started messing with your finances, that's when you start having a sour puss face going on. You didn't want to smile for nothing. You were just unhappy. And ha unhappiness followed you just like a dog following a bone, okay? And he wanted to bury the bone as well. But my thing is, girl, pump them brakes. They engaged for because, like I said, I think you're just doing too much to stay on the show. Did they tell you you're going to have to get some fantastic uh, dramatization to stay on the show, Cynthia? And that's why closing of season 11, you're going to holler, ooh, I love Mike. Me and Mike is uh, inseparable. Ooh, we are at a, uh, a wedding shop. We're, we're looking at wedding dresses. He's looking at tuxes. Just giving us all this fake drama that's going to consume us for... I guess season 12. I guess we're going to be seeing you. Because when did you meet his family? You know what I'm saying? When did you go out to meet the fam? Okay. Cuddle and, and talk and kiki with the girls. Meaning your daughter, Noelle, and his other two girls. What? You didn't give us anything. You bought a shade. See, that's some of uh, Kenya Moore's mess. Shading, okay? Shading us and securing uh, knowledge from us. Because people are calling you a liar, Cynthia. They're saying that you knew Mike Hill prior 
to you confessing your love for him by being on that dating show that Steve Harvey had put together for other people as well as you, Cynthia. I don't know. Is it true? The streets are saying that. I ain't saying it because I had left the story alone. I said, no, I think it's a fake story, but I don't go into it because if she wants to go out there and put herself out there and she already made a fool out of herself in my book by sitting up there posting, you know, on her Instagram account, uh, showing wedding dresses and, and wedding gowns and and rings and you know telling her telling Mike when we gonna do it. You know I ain't getting no younger. You know I'm like damn. You know what I'm saying? Oh, marry her, Mike here before she have a heart attack. Okay. Whew. But anyway, that was my spiel. You know, so I'm gonna get on into this story. Don't know who wrote it. They just table it as a staff member. Of reality T. Okay, the blog's uh, site. Uh, their headline or the headline article reads Did Cynthia Bailey lie about when she met fiance Mike Hill? The people want to know, Cynthia. The plain peasants want to know a society. The ones that sit there and look at and give your, um, your TV special. Ratings, you know what I'm saying? When we tune in, meaning paying your salary for the entertainment that you do give us. Lord knows you ain't gave us too much of that, but we like seeing you on TV, okay? <clears throat> You're like the weakest link. <laughs> okay. And definitely people, and including myself, have been wishing to have you be replaced. But you know, it just is what it is. You hold it on. By your little boot strings, and I admire the tenacity of trying to stay on this show, girl. I you have been riding it, so I can't say you're gonna ride it until they say you're fired. We don't need you no more. So, but getting on into the story, it says Cynthia Bailey has been having quite an eventful year. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star sent her daughter Noelle Robinson away for college. She survived the destruction of her friendship with longtime bestie Nene Leakes. Cynthia invited Kenya Moore to an event without checking with Nene first. Apparently, that is an unforgivable sin and gets you demoted to co-worker status. Bloop! You know, that's Nene Leak's favorite tagline. Cynthia claimed that she didn't know Kenya was coming, but the damage was done. Y'all know we saw it. Kenya was talking about, I'm mic'd up. Don't say too much. Dummy didn't even get that. Cynthia did not even get that clue. She just kept talking. Then they caught her on film. Um, her audio. She forgot she was mic'd up. How you gonna forget, Cynthia? Y'all always mic'd up when y'all are taping. Okay. But she's whispering in Mike's ear like we can't hear her talking about I'm supposed to act like Kenya uh, was, you know, I didn't know she was coming. But I, you know, I kind of knew she was coming, but I got to make like I didn't know. I'm like, girl, do you understand you are mic'd up and we can hear just about everything you saying? Okay, word for word. That's why I said, since they ain't too small, she ain't, she, ain't, she ain't too small, now she ain't too small, okay? But we keep her for some reason. Only the Lord knows. Only the Lord knows. Only the Lord she serve, okay? Then we go back. Uh, It says, and more positive news, the model made her relationship with sportscaster Mike Hill, Instagram official, in August of 2018. Now, hell, I thought, wait a minute, they must have met 2019, because did she just get proposed to? Might be a typo error. Let's continue. Let's move on. In honor of his birthday, in fact, Cynthia was so in love with her man that she predicted that Mike will propose sometime next year. Cynthia was ready for a lifetime of Sea Hill, as their nickname suggests. Okay, we saw that debacle of Cynthia and really forcing Mike to propose to her or get stepping. Okay, but I don't think it was no get stepping. She just wanted to propose. He, she wanted to be on TV in grand fashion, what she called herself, opening up her a wine cellar or uh, event room or whatever you call it. And, and Candy was trying to say, pump your brakes, girl, pump your brakes, flag on plate. You finna have a meltdown. Cut it off. Don't go there. Don't go there. Stop. Don't do it. Stop. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Stop. That's what Candy was trying to tell her. I'm like, do you not see the warning signs? Do you not hear somebody coming telling you to stop it? Put it on break. Put the brakes down, okay? But anyway, she hit. She hit. Okay, going back to the article said, and Mike 
must have been listening because on July 26th of this year, 2019, he put a ring on it. He had no choice but to put a ring on it or stop dating Cynthia in public because she had put him out there. He had to save face, okay? Moving on from there, going back to the article, it said you could bet that that proposal was film. Yes, everything is film. Is it for the ratings, Cynthia? Is it for the ratings, girl? Are you doing this wedding thing so you can have another wedding? On TV, on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Remember, you already gave us one, and that ended very badly, okay? Now you want to have another wedding? Another wedding? Girl, are you competing with Nene or Kenya? Which one? I'm confused. But save your dollars, honey. You got a girl in college, and she needs her finances. She needs her mama to stay calm and correct, all right? Anyway, moving on from that. It said, um... Mm, Mike here popped the question at the grand opening of the Bailey Wine Cellar. Cynthia was surprised and thrilled. No, she wasn't. It looked like it was staged, okay? It looked like Cynthia was waiting on something. She probably didn't know what kind of ring that he was leasing or, because, no, I don't know. <laughs> he probably making payments. I don't know. I just said it, y'all. Don't bite my head off of that, okay? He probably can own it and, 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 and don't pay for it. And secured another beautiful one for her. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, hey, Bravo might be paying for it. We don't know. Because they say Bravo paid for Nini's wedding as well as her rings. Okay. I don't know. But that's what the streets are saying. Okay. Anyway, moving from there, it says Mike involved both his daughters, Kayla and and. They said Noel, but Noel was in the proposal. Because we know Mike got two daughters on the side. Okay. And they just captured it that it was sweet. Okay? As Cynthia might look towards the future, they may want to get their story straight about when and how they met. According to Straight From the A, another blogging site, okay? In April 2018, Mike was one of three bachelors vibing for Cynthia's attention on the Steve Harvey show. During the show, the duo acted like they had never met before. Time out of stage scene. You see what I'm saying? Staged. They're trying to goop us. They're trying to make us believe in and everything. But you know we don't. We don't. We don't over here at Death Snail for this world. We call a spade a spade, okay, and tell them to do better. They know better. They need to do better, okay? Um, then it says Cynthia went on Instagram recently and reposted a photo of when she met Mike here. So he's trying to get a story straight. She knows she done messed up, but they put too much on Cynthia's plate to try to uh, play. They know they're working with a weak link. I told Cynthia I always doing stuff. Shoot. If it don't apply, let it fly. If you get pressed by what I'm saying, don't get stressed. And if it touches and agree with your spirit, pray about it. Don't pray on me. All right. Okay. Moving on. <sighs> it said um, she went and reposted uh, how she met Michael on the show. And thanks to you, Harvey, for introducing the pair. You never, we ain't even going to go in this because she's trying to pull God in it and saying, you know, basically, you know, God showed up and showed out and brought her Michael. Now, at the other streets are saying something else, girl. They're saying you brought that to a fruition along with Steve Harvey's help. You already knew who was going to be on the show. And that's how y'all got met. But then you're going to deny you never met the man before in a previous conversation with some other commentary folks in the journalistic world. Okay? But anyway, we're going to go back to this article. It says on his Instagram, many Mike Hill posted the same image and wrote, she knew then, I'm sure. Okay? Then it says, this is strange because straight from the A, a reporter or had reported that Cynthia appeared on Mike's podcast, okay? Called the Unstable Podcast in January of 2018. Oh, and Real Housewives of Atlanta alum Claudia Jordan was also on the show. In a video clip from the podcast, Mike made it clear that he was a big fan of Cynthia's work on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I will say this, that uh, that out of all housewives, you and Candy Burris are the ones that I like the most because you guys come across the right way, Mike stated. You show yourselves with class, dignity. You know, of course, there are going to be arguments every now and then. But at the same time, you guys come across like normal, good human beings. And I can respect that. So what you're saying, Mike? What you're saying? What you're saying, boy? Are you saying that uh, Nitty Leaks, Daniel Moore, uh, who else we got? 
Eva Marcel are stupid, uneducated women. They act like beasts out there. Okay. Are you saying that they're not worth their grain of salt? What are you saying, honey? What are you saying? What are you saying? Because Kenya is very much so educated, college educated. Okay, way around it. And she probably gets you together. Okay, I'm telling you, Mike don't put his foot in his mouth. And everybody's still remembering, remembering. And we're going to be remembering when we do them reviews on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, and in a sense, uh, I remember our Instagram where he had his whole picture and Cynthia was like on the side. And he was saying something about he would never let her be in the back. Or, 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 or he would never, like, assume that she he's better than her. He would always have her as his equal. But I'm like, damn, you just had the picture when she was in back of your man. I don't know what you're talking about. Saying, like, you're going to have her strung up, take her mind, and you're going to move on to the next victim. Okay? Because you, this is your second marriage or third. I, I, I'm not even really sure. But like I said, I don't know why Cynthia looked up to Steve Harvey to set her up with anybody, okay? Or any dating site that you could have went on other than Steve Harvey. Bad choice, Cynthia. Bad choice. Getting back to this article, it said um, he's still giving accolades uh, to Candy Burris and well as uh, um, what's her name? Cynthia. Uh, I'm sure if Candy was, uh, what do you call it? Free. He would probably want to taste her cherries as well because and already down into that dungeon type sexual stuff. And he probably kink it himself. Hell, you know what I'm saying? He might be swinging from the pole. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He might be swinging both ways. All right. Because what do you call it? What a Cynthia was trying to make herself a little freak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trying to make herself be a little freak out there, but she looked so awkward. When Candy had, had her in that chair trying to serve her up, how sexy to her. Girl, girl, very bad mistake of her trying to call herself one of uh, give Candy a lap dance. Uh -uh, she looked like a grandma sitting up there. And Peter was already telling us when he was on the show, since they know what she was doing in the bed, she did. <laughs> She didn't even, he didn't even, she didn't even get him hard half the time. So I was like, oh my goodness, Cynthia Bailey, Cynthia Bailey. Okay, what are you doing to yourself, girl? But anyway, going back to what uh, Mike Hill was trying to say about Candy and Cynthia, that they were class, classy women and they had dignity about themselves, you know. And, um, huh? Uh-huh. But it goes on to say, you know, he respects you know, the women and their cattiness and what they have to do because it is a show. So basically he's saying it's scripted and he's just telling on them, you know, but you go over in his arena and try to talk some stuff. They'll be bleeping you all, all up out of there because you're not supposed to tell the show's secrets, right? But him, he's telling pretty much everything. He goes on to say, but you're also exciting. You're also somebody that is interesting and I want to know more about you. When talked... Okay, when talk turned into her dating life, Cynthia shared that she decided to take her time dating and wait until at least a year from the time of her divorce from Peter Thomas to start dating seriously. Cynthia shared, now it may have to be a year and a half. I really, I haven't really met the guy. It's hilarious that she was sitting there with her future fiance and didn't know it. So why would Cynthia and Mike decide to pretend that they didn't know each other? And this is this another case of housewives amnesia? There's a possibility that the segment for the Steve Harvey show was filmed before Cynthia appeared on the podcast. Okay. I am sure that Nene would get to the bottom of the situation so that she can accuse Cynthia of being fake. I guess we will find out on season 12 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm all for it. Yes, bring Nene in. Okay, the head HBIC in charge and crack this mem uh, mystery that's going on on these streets, okay? She need to come on in and just do the do. Break down these lies, these miscommunications, uh, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know how y'all like it, how y'all appreciate it, how y'all disagree with the whole doggone uh, video. Doesn't really matter. Love your comments, okay? Just be respectful, all right? But uh, I'll see y'all probably, I don't know if I'm going to do another short, quick one. Who knows? However the spirit leaves me, but we'll get back with you, okay? Enjoy the video, and remember to subscribe, 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 and like my videos. Thank you.
Good night.